right, so today I'm going to try to put in my lift kit for the 4Runner. I ended up going with the Old Man Emu lift kit that does 2.5 to 3 inch lift. And it got the Old Man Emu upper control arms. The front assembly, I got them put together by Yoda Mafia. I got the rear springs and the rear shocks. And the extended brake lines for the rear. So hopefully I'm going to at least be able to put in the fronts today with the upper control arms. With luck I can put in the rear springs and rear shocks. I don't know about the rear brake lines today, but I'll try. And I'll kind of just give you an honest opinion about how easy or hard this is. All right, so I've got the driver wheel off. And from what I've seen on videos, it's basically that I have to take off everything off of the spindle here and then remove this castle nut, which is, holy shit, this thing has been on here for a while. Oh. Fuck it, I'm gonna try my best just to take everything off. And then hopefully I can take off this upper control arm it looks like it bolts all the way through so probably gonna have to take it off from this side and just go straight out all right we got the driver's side done with the old man emu strut and spring setup and the upper control arms this wasn't that hard, but it did take some time. And the tires fit with the wheels fit on perfect. So right now we're doing the passenger side. And to do the passenger, you have to take off the air box so you can get to the back nut on the strut and get the, I don't even know how to explain it, to be able to get this rod out of the upper control arm. So we just got this upper control arm off and we're going to put in the new upper control arm, the new strut and spring setup, and then the front will be pretty much done and we'll probably try to do the rears. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like first. So I'll update once we get the front completely finished. All right. So we got the suspension in the passenger side with the upper control arms and did everything, put everything back how it should be, except for this line, but it's all right. And I obviously have to take off the air filter for this side because you, to get behind the strut bolt, you need to take this off. And I deleted the extra air filter that's inside of the 2UV intake. It's that shit. And it was just kind of lining this. And a lot of people say you don't need it because you already have an air filter that it helps with throttle response or whatever and i just did it because it took two seconds but yeah i'm gonna throw the wheel on and show you guys the front and then possibly do the back And so we did the backs. We had to cut off the struts, the old struts, but we got the new ones in there. You can't really see them. Those are the emu, old man emu struts with the old man emu springs. I do have brake lines, extended brake lines, but I'm not gonna put them on right now because it's dark already. But we put those in, it took about an hour. And this is the other side. Spring is in there, strut is in there. Uh, the strut the sway bar end links are in there we're all good so now I'm going to throw the wheels on and that'll be it 
and I'll probably update tomorrow when it's nice out because it's too dark now to see anything. All right. But yeah, man, this thing, it was a job lifting this with the old man emu lift kit, but it came out really good. I'm actually really happy with it. In this kit, like you guys saw, you got the, you got the shock and spring set up right there that goes on the front and you get the upper control arm. You also get the rear shocks and you get the rear springs that are under there. The backs were a lot easier to do than the fronts because you just take off the, the sway bar end link there and you take off the strut and you can kind of like, you can move the back, the rear axle so you can get the springs in. The fronts were a little more work because you have to take off everything from the, the spindle or whatever that's called in there. But it still, it wasn't that bad. It took about five hours to do in total. And I already had the wheels ready to throw on there. I definitely left the sticker there, but it's all right. But I'm really liking it. I like how it came out. These are um, black rhino wheels. They're 17 by eight and a half with a negative 22 offset. And I'm running 295 70 17s for tires. And it's like spot on perfect. A little aggressive, but it's not so aggressive that it's, it's like, look at me aggressive, you know? I'm really enjoying it. One thing I definitely have to do is trim my fender liner. It is rubbing the fender liner and probably the back here. And I need to take off these step boards or whatever these are called because, oh, wait a second, I might not. I think one of the boards is actually, this board looks like it's not even. Yeah, they put this one on wrong, what the fuck? <laughs> this one's pushed back a lot. I'll probably just loosen it and push it up a little bit and I can leave them on. Cause I, I kind of like the look of them, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm loving these wheels though. I kind of went the cheaper route for wheels because I, I don't know. There were a few that I wanted. I wanted some TE 37 um, XTs or something like that, but I wasn't sure how I wanted the truck to look yet. So I got these because they kind of looked like them and they were really fairly priced considering a lot of the other options. But yeah, I'm loving it. It looks really good to me. I'll just shoot the back. Wicked aggressive. But like I said, not so aggressive that it looks overdone. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a video at that. I will update when I get a couple more parts for this car. I do have a couple more things I'm going to order and throw on. I've got most of all of the things I need for the FRS to get back into commission. It drives and everything right now, but I think my wastegate was the issue because I did that last video where I fixed it and it still is over boosting by like three PSI. It creeps up. So I ordered another wastegate so I can just, you know, kind of test that out and see if I can get that fixed sooner than later. And I might sell the other wastegate because I just think it doesn't work with this setup as well as I thought it would. But it still works. It's just creeping for me. Um, yeah, that's really it. So the truck is almost done. The car will be done soon. And then I can finally do some cosmetic stuff to both of them and just enjoy them and make some content on them. So yeah, I'll see you guys.